This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar on the basics of editing with Apple Final Cut Pro 10. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to use roles for audio in Final Cut. A role is a label that identifies a clip type. It's especially useful for multi-language projects and audio mixing. There's five basic roles. There's title, there's video, there's dialogue, there's effects, and music. You can create as many additional roles. I create one called Final Mix, which is the final audio for my webinars, or sub-roles, English and Spanish and French. You can create as many of those as you need. Here's a timeline project, and this has got dialogue, it has sound effects, it has two different music clips, and it also has titles, which we'll talk about next week. The titles are in both English and Spanish. The way that we control roles is to go to the timeline index, and we'll go to roles. Here, for instance, are my title controls. If I want this to be exported title free, I make sure none of my titles are checked, and I can now export this without any titles. If I want to show Spanish titles, click Spanish. If I want to show English titles, click English. Now, I added the title, English please. I added the titles, and I did the timing, and I looked up the Spanish. I'm not saying it's doing automatic translation. But what it is doing is it allows me to create a single project. And in that project, I can have multiple title languages and multiple voiceover languages and turn on the language that I need. So I'm really only editing one project and then adding as many roles for as many different languages as I need to support rather than trying to figure out how to keep multiple projects in sync, which is a never ending process of frustration. So I use roles constantly in my editing when I'm dealing with, with multiple languages because it just makes it so much easier. But roles are much more than titles. What I want to talk on today is the use of roles inside audio. For instance, here, if I highlight dialogue, notice that all of my dialogue is brightly lit, or my effects, or music, or back to dialogue. If I don't want to hear effects, uncheck it. And regardless of how many effects clips are in the timeline, they're all instantly silent, or instantly the music is turned off or the dialogue, and I only hear music. This allows me to quickly focus on the audio that's important to me without having to go through on a clip-by-clip -clip basis and make it inaudible or, or make it invisible. Let's go back to dialogue. With dialogue selected, and again, all the clips that are flagged as dialogue have got that lighter blue. When I click here, it creates what's called a lane. Notice the dialogue lane. All of my dialogue is now highlighted, or all of my effects are now highlighted, or all of my music is now highlighted, and grouped together. Here, for instance, I'm going to highlight the dialogue and click this button, which reduces the effects and music to these very, very thin lines so they don't get in the way. I don't need to have a really huge screen, and I can work just with the dialogue. We assign roles by control-clicking on a clip and assigning audio roles, or assigning video roles. I can't assign video roles to an audio clip, but I can assign video roles to a video clip. With roles, if I go up to the Modify menu, go down to Edit Roles, it opens up the Edit Role dialog, where I can create a new audio role, as I've done here for Final Mix, or I can create a new sub-role, as I have for titles with English and Spanish sub-roles. There's no limit to the number of sub-roles you create. I can have English and Spanish and Chinese and, and Portuguese and Spanish and French all in the same project and switch between them as easily as clicking the mouse. So that's creating sub-roles within titles is easy and creating new roles. I don't generally create many. I generally have dialogue, effects, music, and the final mix because it's really the final mix that I'm exporting at the end. To apply a role, as I said, control click on the clip and you can assign the role that you need. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar on the basics of editing with Apple Final Cut Pro 10. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com store and look for Webinar 287.
By the way, membership is a great value when you need to stretch your training dollars. Membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only nineteen ninety nine. That's more than nineteen hundred movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.